אמר כבוד, חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל, ערוך ונכון לפקירתך. אדוני. Mr. President, dear guests, Madam, it is always a pleasure to welcome friend to Jerusalem, the capital of the State of Israel. You are so close. You are almost a family. So instead of welcoming you, I say, make yourself at home. The relation between Israel and Cyprus, between our governments, between our two peoples, are long-standing, as we mentioned before, since 1946, when it was a station for all refugees, Jews, who came from all over Europe, and they felt in Cyprus at home, although the circumstances. In recent years especially, we have seen this relationship go from strength to strength. Indeed, trade between us has doubled over the last five years. We have seen an increase in the dialogue between our governments and in the cooperation between Israel and Cyprus almost in every field, from culture to tourism to economy, energy, water, and gas. This relationship is rooted in a deep understanding and in shared values. There are only few democracies in the Eastern Mediterranean, and we face many of the same challenges, Mr. President, at home and abroad. Israel and Cyprus are both small countries, small countries with great peoples and share common threats in the, in the shape of radical Islam, Iran, and the ongoing conflict in unfortunate what is going on in Syria. Yet, with the challenges brought by these threats comes the opportunity to form new alliances, where shared values and concern replace previous fears and conflicts. I want to thank you for your country's support, for the need to find solution to the 150 years of all tragedy of the Jews and Arabs in this land, what people call the conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Cyprus has always been a quiet partner for peace, especially you, Mr. President and we have to emphasize that, have always been a wise and patient voice in the search for the end of the conflict of this region. Again, I welcome you from the bottom of my heart in the name of all the people of Israel, and thank you for your friendship. God bless you. God bless the people of Cyprus. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you for your kind words and your warm welcome. I am pleased to be once more in Israel, the second time in the last two years. 
It is truly an honor to be the first guest you are uh, hosting since you took office, and I would be delighted to welcome you to Cyprus. Thank you. Cyprus and Israel are geographical uh, neighbors, which could partly account to our close relations, but our friendship extends beyond it. We share common democratic values and concerns, which is, which is why we have grown to rely on each other's assistance, and we have learned that we can both gain from this cooperation. The interaction between our peoples stretches back to antiquity, and it is uh, bound to continue into the future. Between 1946 and 1949, Cyprus hosted hosts, hosts, <laughs> thousands of Jews, survivors of the Holocaust who were fleeing from the war to Europe to Israel. Since then, our relations have progressed in a steady manner. In recent years, we have witnessed an unprecedented growth in all aspects of our bilateral relations, political, economic, including cooperation on energy, and in the area of people-to-people -people conducts and cultural exchanges. I would like to wish from this stand for a solution to the Middle East problem that will bring about peace, stability, and prosperity, not only for the Israelis, but for the whole region and its peoples. Cyprus will continue its modest contribution towards that end through its active participation in the EU and the United Nations. I'm looking forward to having constructive and fruitful talks, both with you and uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, which I sincerely hope will uh, deepen further our excellent relations and realize the full potential of our mutual beneficial cooperation. Once again, thank you very much, my dearest friend, President Rivlin. We also Thank say you. it in Arabic, inshallah. <laughs> As the president's depart, please stand. First of all, I would like uh, to say to you, to your delegation, that we appreciate very much the cooperation between our two peoples, not only between our two governments. And it goes uh, to the history of the uh, last century when I'm looking forward to really to extend the relationship, the wonderful relationship between uh, our two governments. I know that uh, you, have, uh, you, you are going to meet along with the ministers, uh, with all the Israeli ministers. Uh, we have now something in common. This is the gas fields, and we have to see how we can cooperate in those matters, how we can cooperate, it, cooperate in any kind of relationship that we have, water, agricultural, a culture tonight uh, next to, in our table, that would sit the best uh, culture people of Israel, the heads of the theaters and everything that you like so much. So once again, welcome. Thank you very much uh, once again, Mr. President, um, for the warm uh, hos welcome, hospitality, but uh, above all, the friendship, we are, uh, which is in development and uh, day by day is uh, Enhancing, enhancing, and this is the most important.